Okay, so I've been playing around with Dospian and I've tried out a load of DOS games and I've also just gone back through some of the Windows games and DOS games that I wanted to try out. And I've definitely found that a lot don't work because they're based on Windows. So I tried to find out a way, because if you just search for DOS games, it will give you games that only run in a Windows environment. And I know that Dospian supports Windows 95 and 98 uh, and I need to look into that at a later time but I wanted to concentrate really on the DOS games before I moved on. And uh, one of the games I really want to play uh, is Interstate 76, which was a brilliant car racing game. Now my computer at the time, I think I probably had uh, a Pentium 75 uh, with eight meg of RAM. I might have upgraded it to 24 megabytes at the time. But, uh, and this did run, but it's still, I had to use it on low graphics, but it is a really good, really enjoyable game. Anyway, so I'll try that at a later date when I get Windows running. But uh, the way I was searching for DOS games, I started off using a lot of the DOS websites, but then I thought, well, I used to buy PC Zone magazine uh, back in the day. Now, it would have been, it must have been about 95 that I started buying it. So these actually predate that. Uh, and I did find issue one is available on the Internet Archive. Uh, and so you can just click on it and you can freely just flick through. Uh, and read all the articles in there and PC Zone was really good because certainly in the later issues they had a list of all the games uh, that they'd recommended and you could go back through and you could see what was there um, but it's a great magazine. Now one of the articles I came across which really interested me was uh, Virtual Reality back in 1994 um, so Cybermax VR. Uh, now I, I can't really remember this at this time but obviously you can see that it looks pretty similar to virtual reality now so virtual reality isn't new another story that that was really interesting and I must have a look at the the rest of the articles on this but PC upgrade part one um, was really good uh, and it was talking about and it's good because it, it kind of fits in this Dospian era so a 486 SX 20 with an 8 with 80 megabyte hard disk uh, so I started off with much better specs than that so Pentium 75 with a gigabyte hard drive and eight meg of RAM. I, I'm sure it was a gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, it was, because it was it was just about bigger than a CD. Uh, and then it talks about upgrading to a 486SX. But it's interesting because they talk about cost by spending sums of about 200, 500, and 1,000 on it. This machine with no friends is a 486SX25 with an ISA bus, 80 meg of RAM, uh, a tossy old VGA card, four meg of RAM, and no sound card or CD-ROM drive. So uh, it's starting off from bare bones. Uh, they talk about costs of, uh, of what you can upgrade with. £40 on an 8-bit Sound Blaster compatible sound card. And then upgrading the CPU. Uh, if you want to upgrade from a 20 or 25 megahertz to a 33 or 66. And 66 is what Dospian tries to emulate. So they're aspiring to get a 486DX, uh, which is what we've got in our Raspberry Pi. Anyway, so let's have a look at the games. I'll switch over to screen capture and, and over to the Pi now. Okay, so let's have a look and see what I've found. And I've got a list of the ones I wanted to show. Uh, so Fade to Black was one of the uh, ones that I found was great. So CD Fade to DIR and the EXE is, I thought it was F2B. Let's try that. single speed CD-ROM detected. Uh, so, Fade to Black was a great game. So, Crouch is down, and you can see it changes the angle, looks behind him. And then we've got left and right, proper 3D game. Uh, and then to draw, so V was aim and B was shoot. So V, aim, and then B will shoot. Now I've got no sound at the moment. I did have sound. USB. Audio. Oh no, it's just too, turned too low. Right, so. So we go here, and I think we probably press V, no, B, enter. <laughs> 
Oh, enter. At least I found another key. Space. Space. Here we go. And we've got a mine. I remember looking at this game and just not believing that, that they could do this in 3D. I think I picked up the mine. I'm not too worried. I'm not going to play all the way through. So what was it? B was shoot. Because... Oh, no. B was shoot. I was using the wrong button. And here, you can see see this uh, little floor tile. You don't, it doesn't turn very tightly. So let's turn around and let's leg it to open those doors. I'll wait for them to close. The level of difficulty was decent. Right, I think. Oh, I ran out of bullets. That's not a good sign. I think I go to this. So if I crouch left, I can look for. Oh, I don't need to. Oh, here we go. And we're through. But I'll let you explore the one. And I've got no, no bullets now, look. Oh, but I can throw a mine. Is that going to hit me? <laughs> yeah, I think when I go through this. Actually, I've got to go through here because I've got to show you the green guy. Yeah, check out this guy, look. He actually falls from the ground. And I've got no bullets left, so I can't do anything. Anyway, so that's Fade to Black, and I love it, and I really need to play this more. I didn't need to get, uh, definitely need to get the controls sorted out more. Uh, and if you press up, you get game options, look, movie clips, joystick. Couldn't get it to work with my joystick properly. It wasn't, it wasn't good to play with it. And I'm using a, a wired Xbox 360 controller. Mouse controls, didn't try that. And the graphics, I think I put it up one level. Yeah, 640 by 480. Graphics quality high. Okay, so let's quit out of that. There we go. And uh, CD space dot dot to go back one. Someone told me that in the comments and I'll try and put it in because I didn't remember that uh, going back one level. So D-I-R. Now Rally E. I don't know what the name of this game is so it will, it will turn up in a minute. So CD, I guess it's that one. I tried a few Rally games. A lot didn't work. Uh, so D I R space dot forward slash P. So that gives me page by page. I think it's rally with an E on the end is the R A W L Y E. Now this plays really well. Now I've got to look at the controls. A A Z accelerate brake and left and right. There's just something about the physics of this game and the way that the cars move around. It's quite a high level of difficulty as well, or I find it is. I couldn't get sound to work on it. I did try a few things with setting up sound. I didn't find um, what settings you're supposed to use for sound. So some, some games require you to manually put in the settings uh, for the sound card. So there's, is it IRQ and something else? There's about three different settings. Um, and usually games auto detect them. But, um, but this one wanted it manually and I tried a few different settings. But if anybody knows what sound card you're better to put in on the manual settings, I'd appreciate it. And the, I think the car model looks decent. And it properly, you can go in the water and you can see that if I go off track, like, it really does move around a lot. Now I've never, I've never won this race. Uh, I've, only t I've tried it about four or five times. It's really difficult level but really enjoyable to play and I just really like the physics and I would imagine you get someone who's, oh, here we go, this will look good because we're both racing together <laughs> until he ever takes me in, in like no time at all, right, let's come on. No, it's really, um, it's unforgiving if you go off the brown, the mud. But as you can see, really good. Maybe I should, I should accelerate less um, into corners and stuff. Maybe I'm being a bit too aggressive with it. But brilliant, brilliant game. Really, really enjoy it. And I'm in the water. So CD space dot dot to go back. D-I-R. Uh, 
across, which is, so Elastomania only works with Windows, or as far as I know, and that was one of my favorite games from back in the day, but across, uh, so if I do uh, CD across, and there's a game like this on uh, Raspberry Pi OS that you can, you can install. So no, it's just across. Action Supercross. So hit play, flat track. And you just got the cursors and space to spin you around. And it looks slow. Do a little 360 hello. Um, but uh, but it's it is quite unforgiving on the difficulty. Obviously not on this level. But you've just got rock forward and rock back, and you've got to usually pick up certain items and then get back to to the exit, but some of the levels get really good. And I enjoy playing this more than Trials Fusion on my Stadia or Xbox. There you go. So when you get this sort of level, and the good thing was you could just play it on any old spec PC at the time, so you really didn't need anything decent at all, but you had a really enjoyable game. Do a little. Okay. You can see, look, there's objects behind me there, so I'll do a little jump over that for you. And sometimes they'd make it that there wasn't a lot of clearance above you, so you couldn't just go full speed. Oh, that's close. And then we can go up here and make it look like we're doing a 180. So, another great game. Really enjoy that. Now this was a game that had amazing reviews, and I don't think I ever had it back in the day. Uh, this is just the demo version, and I don't actually know how to play it, but it's got a sort of cannon fodder type vibe to it, but also a bit of Metal Gear Solid where you, you have to avoid uh, various different villains. But I couldn't really, they just killed me really quickly, because I, I see map here, and I, and I know I'm looking, so, uh, assassination. A member of the Civic Council that used to be on our payroll is opening a shopping centre soon. He was quite well trusted and had access to some information that could be dangerous and embarrassing. He must be assassinated before he has a chance to divulge this information to anybody. So, I know I've got to kill someone. I've got two guys, um, but uh, I don't know what he looks like. I don't know where he is. And as soon as I move, uh, people find me. So you can do this. Like you can look around. I can even go right to the back here, and then I can switch guys, so that now I'm controlling number two. But here, we, you see the sound stops here, or goes a bit. So can I shoot this guy? Well, no, uh, unless, I don't, right click doesn't seem to work. I've got that, now I've got a gun, I guess. And if I move down there, someone's shooting at me. Where are, they, are they shooting at my other guy? Yeah, this guy's been shot at that. I thought he was safe there. And there's there's doors here I can go in. But I don't really know what, what I'm doing, but you can hear by the music it's very atmospheric. But where do I find? Because if I walk around I just get shot and I and I don't know how to, to shoot the other guys. Anyway, I could look up the instructions, but uh, I'm gonna move on to Windows games anyway. Uh, in a later video, so I didn't want to spend loads of time on this, but I do know that as a game it was very well respected at the time, that's that's me being shot. I don't know how I can go back to where I was. I'm lost now. Anyway, that's Syndicate. Obviously if you used to play it back in the day you'll know exactly how to do it and you'll love it. Where are they attacking him though? There you go. So this guy's gone now, but they somehow ignored this guy. <laughs> there you go, they've got him. So let's escape out of that. So DIR, CD, off, row. And you can see that it's got a tilde above there, uh, which on my keyboard is just to the left of the one. Uh, and that's meaning that the file, the folder name is too long. And someone else told me in the comments it's eight characters for a folder and eight plus three for a file. I guess the three is the dot exe or dot, uh, you know, dot bat. Right, so. Uh, and again, off row. Oh no, I've got to go another layer in. 
Now we'll try. So you can do dir star dot exe to see only the executables. There we go. So that's a tip that I never knew back in the day. So thank you for uh, thank you to Amadou Derza in the comments for that. Inky Steve told me about the eight characters for a directory and 8.3 for a file. And I can't find the one who told me about the CD space dot dot. But if I do, I'll put a link on the I'll I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, so it's different different qualities. So I think I did. I think I did just game. So the CGA and the EGA would be lower quality graphics. Legal game modes are, or oh, VGA. VGA was decent back in the day. Slash VGA. Oh, a bit different. So I using a joystick, so did I use a joystick? I don't think I did. I think I found it better uh, with controls. Yeah, QA, XC was the controls. And there is there must be a turbo here, but I don't know what the turbo is. So I think I tried IBM sound. I'm gonna go with ad lib this time. But yeah, boom. And uh, when, I, when I used to live and work in Exeter, colleagues and I used to go to the arcade and play this where they had four steering wheels and it was amazing. It's a really good game because you can stitch each other up and I don't know how to start it. Right, one of the buttons started it. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, that did something. So I think it was A or S. S I think it was. QA XC. Right. And it runs really fast. I wish I knew the Oh, is it control? I think it might be control actually the boost. I'll soon find out. I don't know if I've have I got any boosts at the moment. No, it's not control. It's not space. Shift. No. S? No. Z? <laughs> there is a boost. Oh, I think it might be A. No, it's A. So you can see, uh, the, the playability is really good. And, uh, well, the difficulty level is a bit easy on this one. Well, those catch him out. But then I can prop a turbo out of that. Got a lot of, lot of nitros, haven't I? There you go. So. How many games was that? One, two, three, four, five great DOS games. So at some point I'm going to move over to Windows. It might not be for a little bit, but um, I'm going to try out some of the Windows games that I've downloaded and I really want to get Interstate 76 going. So if anybody's managed that, I'd appreciate them letting me know how they did it. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm Ned Jerry. From Papyrus, this is NASCAR Racing.